Hey guys, so question today. How do you tell whether a marten or a fisher that you catch on the trap line is a male or a female? So I got a marten here, we're gonna check it out. Um, you might, some of you might be asking, well, why on earth do I need to know, who cares? Well, maybe you don't, maybe you do. Um, you can always tell when you skin them out, you're gonna be able to find out. But a lot of times when I'm out there trapping, I like to just check while I uh, pull an animal out of a trap. Uh, when I make a catch, just out of curiosity. Males and females have different home ranges. Sometimes you want to catch more males or uh, than females or depending, you know, or even want to catch more females depending on what you want to do in terms of managing a population or whatever. So um, it, it's just kind of interesting to know. So uh, mustelids, the, the weasel family, Martin, Fisher, weasel, uh, badger, mink, otter, uh, all of these animals uh, have a what's called a baculum and the baculum is a penis bone and it's a, a bone that is not attached to any other bone structure it just kind of loosely floats there um, underneath the skin and uh, obviously it's a sex organ that allows them to uh, help them reproduce so um, all that I do is take the animal and um, in between the legs where the man parts usually are, and you just feel through the skin and you could feel that hard bone. And it's just, uh, I'm just kind of pinching right there and I can, I can feel it there. Um, so it's pretty obvious that this is a male. And I am going to go ahead and, and uh, skin this down a little bit just so you can kind of see that, uh, what that bone looks like. I've already made an opening cut. You see testes here. So again, confirmation that it's a male. This is the base of the bone. I'm going to skin that out a little bit. This is what we were feeling for. Make a quick little cut there. And there you go. That's all it is. Just really, really simple. So uh, that's how you tell male versus female. Uh, and even like when you're skinning them out, you want to look for that if your, your state requires you to report sex information, male, female, uh, like we are required to report in my state. Um, you have that information available. So yeah, quick, simple, easy. You may not use it for anything. I actually do know a guy in uh, Washington state. I know of a guy that cage traps for Martin and supposedly checks them when they're alive when he caught them in a cage uh, and releases the females and keeps the males. So interesting application. But anyway, if you were wondering, same way it works for the other species. Uh, I do it on Fisher a lot too. Um, when I'm when I'm out on the trap line because I'm just curious uh, uh, as to you know the size of a fisher whether it's a, a juvenile the smaller ones whether they're juvenile males or whether they're females because uh, bigger fisher have a hard time getting in these boxes that we have to use um, on on our trap lines up here in Maine so anyway just a uh, little piece of information uh, that you may find interesting catch you later.